Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. It is me, TD Vegeta, back on your screens once again. And in today's video, you guys saw that we've got marshmallow roots and it's the first root I'm introducing. I'm trying to take it very easy with you guys because by the way, by the way, it just hit me, just dawned on me that the natural hair calendar is really, really, no, I don't want to say it's, it's, it's in its final stages, but now I have like a proper structure and I am trying to figure out if I need to put certain things in there if or I shouldn't. I don't know yet, uh, but uh, yeah, you can totally say that my makeup is looking amazing. Thank you. Thank you. And then let me quickly fetch that beauty, show her up close and then we can get this video going. Yeah. Okay, guys. So she is... <laughs> she's massive but let's do a quick snapshot mm, aren't we happy look at us we're so happy okay so this is called a monsteria de la sosa and some people call it a swiss swiss cheese plant and that's how it looks like it's a tropical plant it's quite massive there is the part so if you guys follow me on my instagram look at it looks like <laughs> it looks so cute oh my gosh <laughs> okay um <laughs> If you follow me on my Instagram, you guys saw that I bought her a pick and pay for 90 Rand. And um, she is unfurling. Let me, see, let me see if you guys can see that. She is unfurling. She is giving us a new beautiful leaf. I think I love her shoot system. It looks pretty cool. Like, oh my freaking soul. But um, just a cool fact just to teach you guys, you know, just in case. So these plants are tropical plants, yeah? Look, I bought it and it already had this on my freaking... So it had so many problems. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, please do because I do like weird stuff on my Instagram, especially my stories. So anyway, uh, so this plant, right? So you normally, when it's like this, it means that it's probably still maturing and maybe the splits, these splits will come later on. So the reason why it has this splits is because it's such a massive plant that you remember like way back in the movies where you would like... Like see people using some some of these plants the leaves as an umbrella so you can imagine how huge they are and so what they do is because they are so massive and when the wind blows what they do is they basically split themselves in the middle so that the wind can like blow into like <laughs> yeah i don't know how to explain it like through it instead of on it because if it's a massive plant the wind comes it's just it might break the stem you get what i mean so that's what it does this is this is her this is how, you, how she looks like i just use normal potting mix with some perlite and that's about it i didn't want to do too much and i use the finger technique to know when to water her let's see i watered her yesterday so you guys can tell that the soil is sticking on my finger so she's good she doesn't need watering so this is the beautiful monsteria de la Socha. Okay guys, so the start of the show is the marshmallow root. This is how it looks like. It kind of looks like tree shavings or like bark shavings and it's dry. Then we're just going to add that to a like two cups of water or one cup of water depending on how much hair you have in your head. And then we're going to bring that to a boil so that it breaks down the membrane of the cell which allow for the mucilage to be um, to be present. Then if you guys, then just make sure that you like boil it for 10 to 15 minutes or like 15 minutes and then let it cool down for another 15 minutes and i'm going to obviously <laughs> pair that up with flexi gel anytime i detangle i always use flexi gel it has become my best friend and i always add coconut oil then once it has cooled down you guys will see start to thicken up and provide that nice mucilage and we're just going to strain it as normal you guys have been saying that you want to up your moisture retention in the winter time this is going to do exactly that so this is going to help to add moisture not only that but even after you rinse it out the it's going to stay in the in your hair i don't know how to explain that so even if i'm going to rinse it out the moisture will it will still be retained in my hair and this if you've got like an inflamed scalp this is going to help maybe you are taking down braids you are harsh this is just going to help to soothe your scalp and it contains natural proteins for those who have low porosity and are scared to do a proper protein treatment use this instead on a regular basis and it will help to smooth your hair and make it thicker and silkier and shiny and it's great as a detangler looks like and ooh, this is a perfect conditioner like if you do not have a deep conditioner in your house and you've got marshmallow really laying around use this because it's just amazing it's going to give you best of both it's going to detangle your hair and it's going to deep condition it's going to leave your hair super nourished moisturized and if you're somebody that's struggling with like frizz and all that kind of stuff i would definitely suggest get into the 
habit of using this and it also does in does have some protein properties so for those that don't really never know when to do a protein treatment just basically use um, ingredients that kind of indirectly release protein in your hair with other benefits so why i'm using flaxseed is because flaxseed is much it has a thicker mucilage than um the marshmallow root i'm just going to put this in here and then add a few oils and yeah guys <laughs> let's have that chat where i have neglected my hair till it's like bone dry do you guys see my roots you can see that yeah sure city the shine will always be there because you know we're always working hard for the shine which is this uh, the, the marshmallow root is going to add more shine to my hair but do you see how dry my roots are do you guys see what's going on here like i'm a hundred percent sure that my hair is also frizzy look at that and i promised myself that i won't let my hair like ever get like this again look at me but i have to say that the fruit is not too much but let me tell you when you use marshmallow root it's just going to sort everything out but you guys see you guys can see what's going on like look at that so. anyway all right guys i just quickly want to say something i feel like last year my hair did not look like this my hair didn't have this beautiful natural shine it, it didn't but i think because i've been incorporating natural ingredients in my hair regimen they somehow i cannot pinpoint and say which one but i know that they've been helping to improve the health of my hair so i don't want anyone to ever feel like if your hair doesn't look like mine there's something wrong with yours because that's not the case yo guys like do you see? Do you see this? Whoa! I am! Oh my freaking... I, I've got my mirror here. Oh, look at me. Oh, maybe I should start doing like fringes. Look at that. Oh, don't I just look pretty? Slip in this is just insane. What? Can my... Stop my products. Please give me this much slip. Like this, that's all I want. Please. Oh, wow. You guys know I finger detangle, so that's why I'm running my fingers through my hair so many times. Because my fingers are my comb. So it's kind of like... Like that. Oh, oh, look at that. My curls are just coming back to life. I'm not gonna lie, I've been enjoying pre-pooing more than like the actual wash day. Um, because I feel like... See, like, just seeing how my hair looks like from the beginning motivates me and um i feel like for me doing a pre-poo first before i even do anything else with my hair is like literally the best thing like please get into the habit of that then i'm just gonna put my hair in a normal twist you guys you guys know this already and that's it all right, so I am sick and tired of the natural hair community trying to shove uh, like this concept and like agenda that type 4 hair must look like type 3 hair and if your curls are not popping, your hair is not good enough. Your hair is never less than because you know why? God gave it to you and God will never give you hair that is not good. Your hair is perfect as is and I want you guys to start being like confident in your hair and being proud of your hair because it's you, you're never going to wake up with type 3 hair hair ever okay so accept it for what it is make sure that you're nourishing your hair you're giving it what it needs you're keeping your hair moisturized you're using natural hair ingredients you guys have been complimenting me on the shine that i have achieved on my hair look at my videos from last year my hair did not look that way i also had to put in the work so i am on this journey with you guys i don't want you guys to ever think that i am miss know-it-all i am not only because there isn't enough research about type 4 hair um specifically 4c and we are all learning and specifically when coming to natural ingredients so guys please your hair is capable so i am done uh took me about an hour and maybe 50 minutes so close to two hours because i needed to thoroughly detangle my hair and i have to say i had to fill this bottle up twice because that's just how dry my hair was and anyway i'm not starting this detangling treatment with water so that's why i had to use like two bottles of this and yeah i'm just putting the rest that's left over on my scalp because yeah it'd be needing it <laughs> oh my. now this is not going to irritate your scalp um i promise i promise this is not like aloe vera or any of those this is not going to um irritate your scalp at all so if you've got sensitive uh, sensitive scalp then it's okay you can use this i promise this is like a safe mixture it's not going to do like any weird stuff 
So I'm just going to wear a normal plastic cap and oh, it looks so pretty. And that's it. 